Welcome. You're watching Spirit of Life. We're speaking with Lucy Lilburn, a Christian artist. We spoke with her last week and we'll carry on with our conversation. Thank you, Norm. Now, you have a beautiful painting there. Um, yes, this, this painting, actually, I just noticed I put the year on it. I don't always put mm. the year on it. Um, and it's 1990. And oh, right. uh, yeah. last week I mentioned that my conversion was actually in 1987. Right. And so uh, it's only uh, three years, mm. uh, which, is, which is quite early um, in terms of my healing journey. Yes. And, and so I guess uh, this, this is a, a reflection or a portrayal of, um, uh, I think, where I was at the time uh, in terms of the pain mm. from, from, you know, from the rest of my life yes. uh, before me yes. um, and that pain surfacing. And this little child is also me because part of my healing journey was also about being reconnected um, with my inner child, um, yes. that lovely term. Yes. And so that's kind of meant to symbolise or show that kind of connection. But mm. to do that, mm. I needed to deal with, with this uh, suffering, and uh, suffering we all have. I'm not saying mine was unique or worse. Um, mm. it, it's just that uh, in all our lives, um, because that's why we need Jesus. We mm. need a, a saviour, a healer, and, mm. um, and that's what he's been doing. Mm. And still... And still got a long way to go. Still a lot of healing to go. So, yes. and, you it's know, a long to, journey. Yeah. And it's interesting, these things, I wish I could claim credit for mm. them, but it was actually a bit of a, a fluke. Um, mm. I, I, it was actually, it's actually glue. <laughs> and mm. I, couldn't, I couldn't get rid of it. But when I kind of looked at it, I thought, oh, actually, she looks like she's in quite a bit of pain. So yes. I thought, yeah, yeah, well, that serves the purpose. Well, well it's, um, it's a so, beautiful accident. Yeah, yeah exactly. well, a beautiful, thank you, a beautiful yes. accident. So, yeah, um, yeah so that, that's how that happened. I'm sorry to keep going back to the bone marrow. I, I oh, like, yes, like the some explosion. sort of a vampire. The explosion. But, <laughs> yes, was either during or after. Uh, clearly, it actually captured something. Was that a sort of a joy moment or an... This is my conversion with the explosion with joy for the marrow uh, of my bones? Or no, this, this painting, just from doing this painting. Yes. And clearly you're connected with the, the image, yes. as, as I am myself. That's why I asked you to, ah, to do it first, yeah. because God. It, it's so mm. powerful. Mm. Mm. When you stood back and looked at it. Mm, that's it. Mm. So, so that's it. When mm. you stood back and looked at it, because in the process of doing it, it was like, yeah, I was intending this, but this didn't happen. Mm. Actually, that's happened a lot with my artwork. I, I might be intending something mm. uh, and something else will come out, which I'm very happy about. Yes, that's right. Um, yes. And, and that's, that's exactly right. Um, uh, when I stood back, I thought, oh, yeah, I, c I can relate to, to this. Mm. This is mm. me um, on my, um, especially in, in, in the early stages of my healing. Mm. And, and, and certainly the inner child issue, because that yeah. was a significant issue. Mm. Um, and, and the inner child is also about getting in touch with our playfulness, you know, yes. and, and wisdom too. So um, a, a very significant time, a very precious time. Yes. Um, yes. Yes, yeah. it is. And, and that capturing it in the way you have, uh, it's, it's so powerful because your image of the child is, is innocent and, mm. and whole. Mm. And then the other one is all those. It's all over the place. It's all, all she's over, all over the place. Yes, she's all over the place. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, so it's, there. Yeah. Thank you. Very, Thanks for that, Norm. Very beautiful. Yeah. So I mentioned um, fear. Uh -huh. um, and I did a bit of um, uh, printmaking, and this is an etching. Mm -hmm. And um, it's actually um, uh, from a painting of Goya. Mm -hmm. um, but what I did was, of course, we've got this execution, mm -hmm. and the execution is people looking on. And, but I've called this the execution of fear. Um, so it's a spiritual um, yes, uh, interpretation. Interpretation, yeah. thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it's those times when um, uh, I, 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 I have been healed of of fear mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, I remember doing a silent retreat once and I was reading a book called uh, Hind's Feet on, Hind's, on High Places, sorry, mm -hmm. and uh, it was all about um, this young girl and her fears mm -hmm. and it was perfect. Um, mm -hmm. some, I think my, the spiritual director at the time gave it to me and mm -hmm. it was exactly what I needed and, and the Lord yeah. was, was he, I believe, healing me of a lot of the fears. So th that's, that's, you know, th that's how, what this image is for me personally. Mm -hmm. 
But um, yeah. yeah, and it's interesting. Sorry, yeah, you said before that. about you connecting with this with this particular. Yes. So that's that's the hope. Mm. Um, uh, it's interesting. You see, when people look at art, I mean, this this is, I can connect with these this artwork in my life. Yeah. The hope is, and I'll never, I, I won't necessarily know the answer to this, no, but. Right. But um, uh, uh, to explain it, uh, one time I was reading a book, um, a theology book, and it talked about um, uh, the liturgy, the Mass, mm -hmm. the Catholic Mass. And, um, and it said something like, oh, the Catholic Mass is all about, oh, it might have been reverence and uh, redundancy. Okay, the reverence I got. But I thought, why isn't Mass about redundancy or a significant part of it? And... Um, I remember having a conversation with my husband and he said, oh, because he was in the military. He said, you know, when um, in, in the military they seek to explode a particular mm -hmm. um, um, building or something, yeah. they have about 10 detonators. Yep. And so the idea is if you miss on the first one or the second, you might get it on the third. And I think that's kind of a bit like what, what explains this uh, uh, redundancy. Yeah. You're going to get a re lot of redundant moments, uh, like during the Mass, where, you know, is a person going to be touched by the music or by the Eucharist or by the precious blood or by sitting or standing or the quiet times or prayer? So which one is going to hit us? Yeah. And so similarly... Um, not uh, similarly with art or you know poetry, poetry yeah. or, or yeah. Um, music um, yeah. or pr um, uh, uh, you know, novels and things. You know, some, something may hit us, exactly. um, and, and so that's the redundancy. There's so much that won't. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. But for each individual, uh, and so that's the hope with the art. I, I, I don't. I won't know that. But no. um, that's the hope. Mm. Yeah, and it, it's it speaks to a person's who should not withhold when they're, when they're experiencing something which they might think is redundant, oh. like some words they might say. Mm, oh, yes. They really should go with it if it's, if it's mm. dry, arising within mm. them because mm. they don't know what target yes. that those words yes, are going, it's to, very going point. to reach. Very interesting point, yes. Rather than to, to constrict yourself. Yes, it's interesting, isn't it? Mm. Yes. It's a bit Talking of learning of, of, for us to, to do that. Talking about constricting yourself, we're out of time. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back. You're watching Spirit of Life. And we're speaking with Lucy Lilburn. She's a Christian artist. Now we've got your yes. drawings here, so yes. you take the part. Yes, I have to say I'm a bit fond of this one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Funny yes. as you may yeah. appear. Yes. Um, I don't know if, if it's apparent, but mm. um, it is a, a figure. So it was a life drawing. Yes. And, um, and this is just the way it came out. Mm -hmm. um, obviously very crunched up. Mm. Um, uh, not to me, not free, no. um, and um, uh, frightened. Fear, fear was the for me when I saw it when I, when I completed mm. it. It was like I just feel like this figure is so uh, internalised. Mm. They're so frightened, yes. and so I thought, oh, um, it's, again, as I say, I, I, I'll do something, and then I realise it has a, a Christian Catholic mm. Um, mm. Uh, message, yep. and so I've called this one "Fear Not," mm -hmm. and. Um, I don't know, around the edge, you won't be able to read them. They're all scripture quotes. And, uh, okay. uh, and they're from Judges, Deuteronomy, Numbers, Maccabees, um, Jeremiah. And mm. um, uh, all of those scripture quotes have got fear not in them. Yes. And that's, you know, the Lord oh, is okay. so yep. um, uh, emphatic about not fearing mm. and obviously trusting, trusting in him, yeah. trusting in him. So mm. this is the... Um, uh, the, the, the little uh, one in the so trusting in him yes. so that's I guess they're, they're the yeah. opposites yes yes um, and um, I was yeah. going to say well, there's a story which links those two together isn't there because you were telling me about the bird and the worms oh okay so that's yeah that's a little uh, I treasure that little story for me mm. um, uh, when I uh, left work after my conversion because I felt the Lord to t um, call me to trust in providence. That's how mm. it came to me. Mm. Um, uh, I was um, 
uh, running out of money, mm. and um, and I was uh, getting quite because this is, was part of my learning to trust him. You know, it, just, mm. it wasn't instant by any means. No. Um, and I remember uh, it, it was at that point where uh, I was getting quite, quite anxious and because um, the bills were going to be coming in and there wasn't enough money in the bank. And it was, it was basically that. Yes. And I, I remember sitting on a park bench, uh, on a bench, and um, it was raining the night before, mm. and I was watching this um, bird, blackbird, beautiful blackbirds, and uh, she was um, hopping along and she dug up some worms mm. and she had them in her beak. Mm. Um, and uh, so she walked up a little bit more and she put the worms down and picked up and dug up some more worms and put them in her mouth. So she had more worms in her mouth, worked, walked a bit more and again placed them down, dug more. And by the end of it, her beak was so full of worms. <laughs> and there it was, the Lord telling me yes. to trust in providence. Yeah. And even, even in scripture, he uses um, the, the, the birds of the air. You know, they trust, you know, yes. the, uh, the Lord looks after them. Yeah. And so here he was you know, in life, uh, mm. in my life, telling me, trust just like I told you, the birds. Mm. And mm. I'm providing. Look, mm. look, this bird had abundance. Mm. Um, yeah. And what happened then? You you moved on. How did that affect you the next day? Oh what no, not the next day. Instant, mm. instant. instant. I, I was right. um, the the stress, mm. uh, the angst, um, the fear. Right. Okay. So much fear. Yes. Okay. Um, mm. Went. Was that um, quick? It, yeah, it was. Mm. It was instant. Once I I got the message. You see, I got I, I got mm. the message. Yeah, it's a, because as as an artist, uh, as a painter and, and drawer, illustrator, I should say, uh, the image is important to you, and that's that sort of that inform information, the informing from that image of the bird and the worms, etc. Mm. That clearly went. Yes. Whereas, as you said before, with the detonators, etc., yes. some people are hit by words yes. and hit by a tone, mm. a, a note mm. in a piece of music. Yes. And the yeah. richness of our yeah. God, because he, yeah. he's got so many detonators. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. For, for all of us. So, <laughs> yes. yes. Th thankfully, thankfully. Oh, thankfully, yes. That he <laughs> persists. He yeah. persists, yes. Absolutely. Yes. He, he, he yeah. knows a lot about redundancy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ab absolutely. And, and uh, that's right, redundancy, which uh, may be repeated over and over again. Yes, that's yes. right. That's yes. right. That's right. Actually, I was going to show you that one, but I think I'll show you these and then we'll mm -hmm. get to, to, get that, to right? that one. Yeah, sure. sure. Okay. Um, now, um, I, I had a go at doing the um, Stations of the Cross. Actually, okay. it was for, um, mm. there was a, a cross from um, Bendigo being carried um, to the um, parishes around Melbourne. So for that, for that, someone asked me to do the Stations of the Cross. So I, I did them. And, and what I, um, came to me to do was rather than have the outlines of figures, I, I did them as shadows. Shadows, yeah. And I thought they were a good, um, like it's theologically, I think it's sound because it's mm. our sin. Mm. That's nailed mm. Jesus to the cross. Correct. Um, yeah. And so it's our dark side, our shadow mm. side, if you like. I remember mm. one priest, uh, when he, he, look, he was looking at them, he said, oh, the shadows. It's like, ah, the mm. penny dropped. Mm. Um, so that was kind of a nice yeah. uh, affirmation thing. Yes. So, so I, I was happy with the shadows. Yep. Uh, but then at the end, um, one of the stations they asked me to do was waiting for the resurrection. Now, this image is, is quite probably messy. But I thought, no, I, I think I'll leave it as messy because yes. uh, waiting for the resurrection mm. is messy. Yes. It can be painful. It can be long. Mm. Um, uh, th things happen along the way that, that just discourage mm. us. Mm. So it, it's, mm. it can be a very painful place. Mm. So I thought, but the thing is, the point is, the shadows, the shadows, whether it's um, Pontius Pilate, whether it's the soldiers, mm. um, um, the Pharisees, um, but also the good guys, the um, Veronica, the, the, the women of Jerusalem, Simon of Cyrene, they're all waiting. We are all waiting. All parts of us are waiting yeah. for that resurrection. So um, that was kind of using the, the image or the uh, symbolism or of the um, shadow. Yes. Um, so, yeah. That's, that's very powerful. In fact, that, that series would be powerful. Mm. Uh, all together, of which yeah. how many are there? Um, there well, there's, well, there's 14. There's 14, yeah, but yeah. Um, someone asked me, they asked me to do Waiting for the Resurrection of yeah. Jesus, so it's 15 with that it's one. It's 15, yeah. yes. And that was actually it's... part of an um, uh, exhibition. Right. 
Well, we're, we're actually... Are we out of time? Uh, yeah, we're, we're getting close to being out of time. We must talk about that exhibition. Mm. Yes. And uh, I'm sure it was very successful. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back. You're watching Spirit of Life. We're speaking with Lucy Lilburn. She's a Christian artist. Thanks, Norm. So, Norm, Here's I'm, a piece of your art. I'm holding this. It, it's mm. kind of, I don't know, I'd say it's a favourite, but it's a, a special one. Mm. Um, I'll tell you the story behind it and then I'll tell you why it was special. Is that okay? Mm. Yeah, sure. All right. Um, one day I was kind of not doing anything in particular and I was doodling, isn't it? Doodling. Mm. And I was doodling for quite some time, not really. You know, I had no, I, I say I don't have any, didn't have any cognitive awareness. I wasn't mm. mentally um, mm. locked in Creating. with it. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. right. Yeah. And at the end of it, this is what, mm. what it was. Mm. And I looked at it and I thought, oh, it looks like, for me, it looks like folds of material. Mm. And, uh, and for me, that is Marion or Mary, yeah, Mother Mary, Mary yeah. for me. Yes. And um, uh, if... I don't know if it's apparent, but if you look a little bit here, it's about her heart, yes. and there's a figure there, and um, uh, and that was part of the doodling as well, and mm. I, I, I believe that that would would be Jesus. Yes. So just as mm. Mother Mary had Jesus in her womb, of course she carries him on our hearts, mm. as mm. we are all called to carry him on our hearts. Yeah. So um, I've done a few Marian pieces, and mm. uh, it, it's just like this one. Um, it draws me closer to right. Mother Mary, yes. um, and uh, I do love her dearly. She mm. loves me. Mm. Um, so, mm. so that's kind of the, um, I call this, oh, by the way, the tabernacle, tabernacle, yes. not the, but tabernacle. Mm. And the reason I call it tabernacle is because um, just in the, the Old Testament, um, the Holy of Holies um, held God, um, there uh, in, in the tabernacle, um, the uh, Mother Mary holds Jesus yeah. um, in her heart or in her womb. Mm. So, um, and that's why I call this one tabernacle. Mm. She is the new in the New Testament. It's really quite powerful as you, as you sit there and I sit there looking at it. And yes, it, I, I can see the the image of which clearly oh the, good clearly is is jesus at yes. least oh, good. Thank for you, you and for me yes. probably yes. for everyone else as well yes. but it, it comes together so beautifully the flow and the the unity of the whole thing yes. there's not one piece that doesn't hold your eye yes oh good it's good beautiful thank you yes. for that yes as i say mm. and it was just me doodling so i'm very happy with that I, mm. I, it's like i had mm. nothing to do with it <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right well that's always a good feeling yeah, well it is yeah, a good yes, feeling yes, what's a good feeling sort of this, the spontaneity, <laughs> yes. spontaneity of it, yes. 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 Um, I'm just going to share this one with you. Um, this, I call this one the soldier of Christ. Yes. Um, and I, I usually point out to people that these are not his wings. No. <laughs> They're no. meant to be the heart. The heart. Because yes. the spiritual battle as soldiers of Christ, and we're yeah. all called to be soldiers of Christ, um, the spiritual battle is the battle of the heart. Yes. Uh, and so that's what this is meant to signify. And mm -hmm. to be resolute and, and firm and strong in that. So that's that was yeah. the idea. Yes, and and so once again, going for feelings, it, when you're creating something like the Soldiers of Christ, that's a pretty powerful driver within a Christian uh, oh, yeah. artist, I would imagine. Yes. How did you feel? I um, know it was lovely. It was lovely. Um, I, I was very. I tried to be very particular about the armor and um, yeah. and his and the face. God, it took yeah. forever to do the face. It had to yeah. be strong. Hopefully, yeah. Um, yeah. So as you say, you know, determined. There's a determination there. Yeah. So well, I hope there was. So and the shield, mm, of course. Shield. So yeah. um, I, 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 it was. I suppose satisfaction, if you like. But um, um, it, it's kind of like sharing my faith. This yeah. is who I am. That's right. This is yes. who I am. Yeah. And you know, yeah. I, I know I, I can't always say what people, I can't say what people, how it impacts them, but certainly I can say along the way, the people, um, a lot of them um, kind of, you could just see them looking at it or kind of, mm. there's something, but mm. without necessarily, even they may not have known why. No. Um, no. It's yeah. immensely powerful. And as you say, there's no way of knowing, 
but you continue doing it. Yes, yes, that's because, right, yes, that's right. Because, I know right, one, one person yes. just said it's very, very strong, and so I was, mm. I was very happy about mm. that. Mm. So, yeah, so this one, kind of yep. almost, almost at the end, um, is um, it's actually my nephew, and mm. uh, I just did a watercolour of him fishing, as you can see. But I mm. purposely, because uh, I took a photo, you see, and mm. I... Um, uh, purposely took the back of him because yes. he's the universal figure of yeah. uh, I call it um, go, gone fishing, mm -hmm. um, and just as, as it is in scripture that yes. we are all meant to be fishers of men, fishers and of so men, that's yeah. the, the symbolism of that. Yeah, as simple as that. That's quite beautiful because <laughs> in its simplicity, it is simple. It, yes, it. Mm. it uh, so. If we had an exhibition, which yeah. you have had. I have had an exhibition, yeah. Uh, how, what would it look like? The, yeah. Were these paintings it's, there? Um, yes, most of them, no, I think. Mm. Um, mm. So uh, you've created many, many more yeah. paintings, obviously. Yeah, well, mm. uh, yes, because uh, I did, uh, Fear Not was in there and mm. Tabernacle was, and yeah. of course the Stations of the Cross. Yeah. But um, I called it, the exhibition at the time was at Easter. Right. Um, and it uh, was at St Joseph's in Northgate. Yes. And um, uh, and I had a I've got a painting of Jesus and Mary Magdalene, and mm. I don't, I'd only just painted it, and mm. I called it um, the exhibition, the resurrection mm. e exhibition, and um, it was it was good to to have all the artwork, and I had little explanations of them yes. of the art and you know pricey form, mm. um, and and that was that was really good. Um, you know, there was people, you know, after mass, they'd, they'd go and, and have a look. Yes. Uh, I know one woman came up to me and asked if I, uh, if I would do a painting for her. I said mm. I didn't really, but I, but I had a discussion, and um, I was uh, she, uh, I, she was thinking of the Last Supper, mm. and um, I don't want to give away too much, but I'm just thinking about that one. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and, and there'd be a lot of thought going. Well, it'd be from a different perspective. You see, yes, so. yes, because mm. the Last Supper would be very difficult to yes. paint and capture. But, I would but um, well, uh, well, it's all, as I say, I've got a few ideas going yeah. around, but I don't really want to. No, 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 that's right. No, no, keep that, keep that. Uh, what is it, what's it about bushels, whatever it is anyway. Yes, <laughs> Keep yes. it under. Yes. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah, thank that's you, that's right. Yes, thank is. you, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, Lucy, look, we're, we're, we're running up to the end of time. Yes. And it, it has been fantastic to talk to you because mm -hmm. your paintings are very, very good in my humble view, but what they contain within them is mm -hmm. extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. And so I think... Uh, the detonators would be going off all over the place. <laughs> It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? But yeah, so, praise God. Thank you so no, much, Norm. It's been that's, wonderful. That's a pleasure. It's been, been wonderful. You've been watching Spirit of Life. We'll be back next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>